Hey there everybody, welcome to another short little fun title for the short games thread. This one, as you can tell, is called Don't Look Back. It's actually made by the same guy that uh, did Judith, or at least one of the guys. And well, it's kind of a simple game. Very simple controls, it's a platformer. As you can tell, we can move left and right and jump and die. Yep, yeah, we'll have quite a few enemies and obstacles to deal with as we progress through, but that doesn't mean that we are defenseless. We do pick up a gun as we transverse this rather rainy uh, surface. Now you might be wondering right now why the name of the game is Don't Look Back. Well, we'll be finding out later. For right now, we have free range to look back and forth. And that's probably for the best because in a little bit we'll be seeing that we actually had to maneuver uh, quite uh, sneakily and skillfully uh, to get around some of these spiders and bats and just horrible creatures. And you definitely can't get let the game simplistic look make you uh, think it's going to be a simple task of getting through the game. Some of the screens can actually get kind of difficult. And rather suddenly, we run into our first boss, this very dangerous dog of the underworld. Well, we can only actually hit him from the back. The first two shots are fairly easy to make. 
The third one, though, can be a little difficult. But we get by it easily enough, and we can continue on our journey. Now it is time for the final boss of the game, and what should hopefully be the end of our journey. While this rather large towering figure can only be hurt from his head. And while we are doing damage, he'll steadily start to summon more bats and spiders. And he'll also throw his balls of energy at us. But about the best we can do is try to dodge and make our way up to the upper platform to shoot him in the face. We have won the day, and that means we should be able to go claim, well, whatever our prize might be. <laughs> and we find our prize to be is actually a lady. And we get the actual meaning behind the game as we find ourselves to be Orpheus, having journeyed into the underworld to get our love. And now the game's meaning truly comes out in, well, the fact that we cannot actually look to the right anymore. We still have a few more tricky traps to get through. And it can actually be kind of difficult to remember that, well, we are never allowed to look back. Otherwise, our love will be forced to remain in the underworld.
Thankfully, even if you do manage to look back, it's not a game over. And then we actually finally find our way back to the surface. We've made our way out of Hades. And, well, I guess everything should be fine now, right? Or we're merely left to repeat our feudal actions.